Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to get rid of some tan lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our curves layer and we are going to uh, fill it with black or just invert this right here. And then you can push the, uh, I guess it's the forward slash key. Uh, it's the key right below the delete key on your keyboard if you have a full size keyboard. Uh, we're going to grab our brush tool and we're going to change it to white at 100% opacity. And then we're just going to brush the part that we want to uh, uh, change the color of. So that way we can see just this part and the rest of this part red uh, here or black on the layer mask is not showing. So then we're going to grab um, our color sampler tool. It's the I key and make sure it has the little plus sign right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right here on the part we want to change and that's going to be color sample one and we're going to click right down here on the part we want to uh, use so that's the color we're going to use and you can see right up here in your info uh, palette uh, one and two and you can see the colors um, the RGB values if you don't have that you can go up to view or sorry window and make sure your info is checked and I guess you can push F8 as well um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to grab our uh, blue channel and we can see number two is what we want to uh, change the color to so that's 113 uh, blue and we're going to bring this down from 147 all the way to 113 right there okay and then we're going to use our green channel we want to bring the 181 down to 157 right here good good and then uh, red channel, we're going to bring our 214 down to 198. And uh, close enough. Right there. Okay, and now is what I do is I fill this with black. Just so uh, it will fill it with black. Depends on which, uh, the option delete or command delete. And it depends on which color is foreground and which one's background. Um, so, and then you get the brush tool. I put it on the uh, like 10% opacity. Um, and then I brush in with the white kind of what I want, uh, where I want to change. So I can kind of just get really uh, uh, intricate with it. We can zoom in here and just kind of slowly bring it in so that the, the tan line kind of blends in with the rest of the uh, skin tones. And I'm not going to make this super amazing for the tutorial, but it just gives you kind of an idea of what it will look like. So after we've blended that in, we'll have after and we have our before. So you can see just by using curves and changing the colors uh, from the RGB values and matching them, you can match the colors uh, of your skin tones and kind of clean up tan lines and you can also uh, use this to match colors in, in other parts of the image so um, that's the little tutorial if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments field and uh, thanks you guys for watching